Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and I am here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. Uh, you'll see that we have added a little bit more to the CV base, and boy, is it ever raining out. Look at that. That is crazy. Crazy. Wow. Okay, well, today we have, oops, this is all funky because I equipped it when I de-equipped something while I had it equipped. <laughs> okay, um, actually, hey, go like this, load that. What we're going to do today is we're going to spawn in a new SV. This, the one that I had was just a temporary one to go to the moon and get some cobalt, which I did successfully find. <clears throat> we don't have much left after we put a bunch into my um, factory. And we now have the SV box top medium ready to spawn in. So we're going to do that right now. This thing is warp capable. It's a much better ship than... Come on back, really? Is it really gonna do that? Okay. Come on. Fine, go right there then. Okay, so let's have a look at this thing. Wow, really? Is it just the... Do I just pick the worst times to do this? Okay, so. It's a bit of a beast, but, oh, that is some trippiness that the water's doing there. <laughs> it's made it look like fl flying saucers. Okay. Um, it's got four Gatling guns and two missile, standard missile launchers. But it's got a lot of bulkhead to it. It's got a lot of thrusters, and they're the jet thrusters. It's got the rear entry. It's got uh, warp drive. It's got all the amenities inside. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get this thing loaded up. We've got a bunch of ammo made for it. We've got some pentaxid. We also looted an EVA boost from one of the Titans that we've multi-tooled down quite a bit. Uh, the three tit Titan pieces. One of them is almost gone from getting multi-tooled the other two i haven't even touched yet so there's still a lot of that stuff we can get um so yeah we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna warp the heck out of here so let's do that i'm tired of this rain let's, let's go let's maybe we can find somewhere tropical so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our engines first it looks like we've already got it set up now, does everything grouped already? No. So we're going to regroup everything. And what I'm going to have to do then is I'm going to have to go back in here and put everything back into my special groups. I have, as you can see, I have eight of the um, jet thrusters, the small jet thrusters in each direction on this. And... I really like how it flies, how it performs. Um, I made it in uh, a game that I was playing just before Alpha 8 came out. I was just kind of goofing, goofing around, testing the, uh, the CV base build to see if that was a viable thing. And... Uh, and I built this SV in one of them, and so I like it. And come on, come on over here. Let's fill this up. And we're going to fill that up. And we're going to fill that up. And we're going to fill that up. All right. We're going to oxygenate. And we are gold. Let's just go. You can see how fast this thing is. It performs like it's a it's a super duper hot rod little. It's not that little really, I guess. But it really 
This thing performs like crazy. I love it. It's definitely my best performing, best balanced SV I've made. It's not the largest. I have made quite a bit larger one uh, in creative mode that I have never actually spawned into a survival game yet. Maybe I'll plan on doing that this series. You, you don't... Who knows? I don't know how long this experiment is going to go. Okay, so I I decided I wanted to grab some stuff here. <clears throat> what I want is actually... We're going to go into the advanced constructor where I threw all these plates. The hardened steel plates that I got from the Titan wreck. Really what I want to do is... You know what? We almost took off without any food. That would have been just horrible. Anyway. <laughs> just, man, I suck. Um, we're going to upgrade this thing. All the blocks in the front. Make this thing uh, a lot more beefier. It's already got a very thick bulkhead, but uh, obviously making all the blocks a lot stronger are going to help, obviously. So, I'm going to do this really quick. I'll just concentrate on the front for now. Like I say, I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just doing the front because that's where I'm going to get hit the most. We'll get all this stuff upgraded around the edges here. Now these little winglets or whatever you want to call them actually create a line of sight effect for even when I have to pop out and jump a little bit I'm still usually line of sighting stuff that's beside me they can't see me jump to spawn my uh, my drone so that's that's pretty cool yeah from the little use I've got to use this before Alpha 8 came out I was really liking it so this will be my preferred ship going forward once I get up to the stage where I have enough cobalt to spawn it in, because it's super expensive. <laughs> it's actually ridiculously expensive. It is definitely a mid-high level ship because of the amount of mats that it takes. <clears throat> okay, I think we've got most of that, so we're going to get the Along the edges here. Oh, I missed some paint right there. That's okay. Okay, and then we're gonna get the in the bulk of the inside of this also. Well, at least the cockpit area. I can't actually see which ones unless, you know, just by going over it with the multi-tool. Okay. I think we're 
almost ready to take this thing out. Just get some more, get some more blocks in here upgraded. <clears throat> Okay. Now keep in mind it's actually it's already double thickness. So this is the inner shell, so to speak, the cockpit is, and then it has another layer of blocks on the outside of it. So with boosting up all those that's going to go a long ways towards uh, helping protect me. Okay. I think we're getting close here. I don't hear any more getting upgraded. Oh, the occasional one on the floor. That's okay. Okay. I think we're good there. Let's leave. Oh. Um... First of all, put this back. I don't need to take it. And we'll turn this off. Because we have what we need. We'll grab some food. Oh, let's see if... Um, see if I can pick some more. And yes, I can. So let's do that. Try and make as much food as we can to take with us. And the durians and that still aren't... Wow, why is there... They're really growing slowly over here. Okay, well... Get some more canned veggies going. <clears throat> How much do I already have made? Ooh, not much. Let's eat that. And wow! That's worth some massive food, isn't it? That's pretty good too. 28. Close enough. And wow, only enough for one. That sucked. That really sucked. Well, let's let's make sure these are off. Yep. Um, huh, well, let's just grab all this then, it's not much, we're going to have to do some hunting, hopefully wherever we warp to is going to have critters. <laughs> okay, so let's put the stuff in the fridge, and like that bring this stuff down okay let's go how exciting we're gonna warp we're gonna warp check out another planet so I'm wondering if there's any class 5 ones that we're gonna find Today, we're not going to have a lot of choice, though. Um, what's in what's in orbit here, anyway? Silicone, copper, cobalt, promethium. Oh, copper, cobalt, and promethium. Okay. Might have to come back here with the CV and mine, all that. Uh, okay, so let's see where we can go. Hmm. Drupid? Well, that's really close, isn't it? Let's do that. Let's do that. It's super close. Whoa. What is that freaky looking planet? My goodness, is that green oceans? Huh, let's take a look. So there's iron asteroids. Oh, 
there looks like a trading station down there. Nice. Okay. Uh, what else does it have on the planet? Iron, Neo, Cobalt, Promethium, Sathium. Neo and Promethium. De Neo and Sathium. Nice. PVE. Temp min max I can handle. The radiation I can handle. It's uh, planet four. Okay. Gravity. Ooh, it's really dense. So my, my munitions won't shoot very far. Uh, okay. So what else do we have here? What's this? Too far. Hmm. So that's it. This is my only choice. Well, I guess I could have, I think, to toss, to snock, to snock, snock, sonock. Well, whatever. So we really need Neo mostly. But um, Sathian would be a lot easier to deal with than, than the uh, hard steel plates to try and get Sathian out of. Okay, so let's, um, let's find a large lake to fly to land. At load our weapons up. Okay. Okay, new planet. Freaky. Okay, so blue oceans, not green. <laughs> so that's uh, that's funny. And what kind of what kind of planet is this again? It's a desert planet. Okay. Okay. Desert planet with a lot of water. So that's pretty cool. They've got this biome around the, it's an oasis, the oasis biome. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. Okay, let's head east so that we can, um, oh, I see something over there. Do I have my thing turned off? No. <clears throat> well, let's, uh, let's see what's going on. We've got Promethium. Okay. And 255, yeah, wow, my range sucks. It's a large one. Got him spinning, and he's dead. And what did I find over there? Cobalt. Wow, 1,200? <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome, two nice... Well, before I start mining, I think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout this whole planet here really quick with you guys, I think. Right? Right? Yeah. Hell, hells yeah. Okay. Ooh. Nice. So let's keep going east. Now, whereabouts are we? We're about, we're near the south. Okay, so maybe, oh, there's a trade, trade station. Oh man, really? Oh, I think we might have to go to the trading station. Whoops. We 
might just have to go to the trading station. Not that I have anything to trade. Um, yeah, I have nothing to trade, so let's not bother. <laughs> let's just... Yeah, what's the point? I got no credits. I don't have anything I want to sell them. I didn't bring anything. I didn't think about it, to tell the truth. It's, uh... Yeah. So Savannah, Savannah. Let's let's take a look to see if there's what kind of creatures we got here. So we've got the Otogs. That's interesting. Now. We'll grab some meat off him. Hopefully. Hopefully. So level out. Okay. There he is. So this looks kind of like what I guess what Omicron would be like then, with no atmosphere and yeah, I'm I'm willing to bet this is what Omicron's gonna look like. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep checking it out. So we'll put this in the fridge. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Looking for Neo and Sa. Neo and Sa. Hmm. Excuse me for a minute while I deal with a huge giant bumblebee that is like desperately trying to get in my face. Wow. I don't want to kill it. Just want to get it out of my face. Because it's a big bug that'll sting me. They always freaking sting me for some reason. Okay. Now that the imminent danger is averted, I can check this planet out. And Neo, Neo, nice. Okay. And it's completely unguarded. 2,500 of it. Wow. Okay, so let's keep let's keep searching. So we've revealed that Neo. We can come back to it. Yeah, we've got enough power. We're okay. We're okay. Let's just top everything up. <clears throat> Okay, we'll keep going, and that sunrise is very bright. So we've got some interesting plants, very alien looking. And this is wetlands, okay, wetlands. So, yeah, this is like the Omicron, definitely like the Omicron lakes, with all these wetland, and then, 
let's um, get out into the center here. We'll see. We'll see if we can see any like. Uh, here, let's just go like this. <laughs> And can we see? Oh, we couldn't see. Wow, it looks super deep. What, um... Oh, wow. Is that actual, uh... What is that? What is that? Will it tell me if I... No. Oh, that's new coral, new looking coral. I don't think I've seen that before. Interesting. So is that going to be all the um, plasma? Oh, crap. Do I need to go down there and pick that stuff? I might need to. So. That was a lot of plasma, I think, down there, which is really good for healing med kits and stuff like that. Medical stuff. Okay, well, let's keep looking. It's kind of cool looking, all these... Um, all of these rocky areas. That's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Huh. No POIs yet. I'm trying to look for any interesting, unusual looking biome. Very cool, very cool. These these planets, not only are they looking better all the time, but they're just way bigger. Uh, okay, so we've got Neil, Cobalt, and Promethium. I wonder if there's a planetary vessel. If so, I should kill the platform. So it won't be able to come and shoot me. And then I can hunt it down wherever it, wherever it stops and just easily kill it. Take all its bits. But wow, I mean, talk about um, not finding anything except for a few deposits, really. seem to be a lot of um, POIs on this one. Well... I think what I'm going to do is... I am going to fly around and meet back up with you when I find something so we'll be right back okay we are back we have found something uh, it looks I don't know it looks awfully large let's get in a little closer hopefully we can get close enough to register it. Oh, that looks like a civilian POI. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
it indeed is. It's a farm. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, uh... 255. 255 is my range. Large plasmas. Wow. Holy crap, they take a lot to kill. Okay. This guy should no, oh, I can't get to him, he's too far. Wow, that large plasma was pretty harsh. I see another another drone off in the distance. Okay. Well this is cool. It's all sealed in, okay. Okay. Right on. Let's, um, don't really know if I want to loot this here and now. I think I just want to get these drones looted. Oops. I like to be standing on my seat when I jump back on because then you can, uh, use, use the drone without having to jump. Okay. Let's grab this stuff. Oh, well, that's some good loot. So the larger drones tend to have some better loot. Okay. Sorry, dealing with that there's a there's a bee that just is being very persistent come on what's going on here why isn't it letting me uh, let's jump onto there and then we don't have to worry about it what no there isn't there we go huh I was worried that the drone was all screwed up again. All that for that, really? Meh. Uh, okay, so farm, eh? That's very interesting. Let's go check out and see what this guy is. What he's protecting. Neo. Uh, large chunk of Neo. Nice. Okay, so 255. And another large drone. Okay. So let's loot that guy. a nice that's that's uh, a restroom in Zascosium right there okay um, hmm well um, should we just keep going no, I came up See, now this is, I, oh no, I hadn't all gone all the way, and there's the trading station, so should I come down to the south, so we'll go on an angle to try and cover as much, so we'll, let's come down to here, and then we'll bounce back up over on an angle that way, so we'll go check this out really quick. And I don't see any golems. Do you see any golems? <laughs> I'm just thinking, hey, maybe there's some golems to kill. Uh, no, and that's a ways off. So if I find something, I will let you know. And I will be right back. 
Okay, we are back. We have found something and it looks like a patrol vessel platform. Uh, so there is a patrol vessel on the planet then. Okay, so... Man, I wonder where it is. I'd like to knock this thing down. The only problem is if I knock it down in it and it uh, and it's over water, I might not be able to actually retrieve. I might not be able to do anything about it, right? Because because then I can't shoot underwater, and it'll it probably can. Uh. You know what? I'm going to take the chance anyway cuz that will just that will eliminate it from from being able to uh fly anymore. It's, it's still going to be able to shoot from where it is, wherever it is. But I believe if we take out the base, it can no longer move. So we're going to do this. And let's um, let's increase our field of vision. Or we'll decrease it. That effectively creates a zoom. And then we'll come in and. shoot here clear out a bunch of blocks in the way there it goes there it goes okay so patrol vessel has stopped hopefully if that still has the same behavior as before. So now I can't remember if this hard is is this just hardened steel? It might be just hardened steel. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get nice and close. Come on. Really? Are you really? You gonna you gonna do that? Let's uh, zoom back. There we go. Okay. And then we can just level off. Spawn our drone. Spawn our drone. And if these are like before, there should be loot up in here. So we'll. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, yeah, I can't upgrade. Uh, hardened steel plate, okay. And yep, there's containers in here. Nice. Okay, so let's zap these. Take their stuff. So what was that? A restroom ore. Nice. Heavy weapon upgrade. That's always good. And a rocket launcher and a, heavy, and a large ammo box. So that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. That's okay. So let's... Um, do the other side here. Well, this is a good score because this this base alone will be good to multi-tool down. Oh, more arrests or more. Wow. And a Gatling gun. That's pretty cool. Uh, ooh, auto miner core. And a SV thruster. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's... Um, Oh, where's the fuel again? It's it's in here. Can I actually? I don't think it'll let me. Will it? Oh, no. That's my box top. Okay. Actually, let's fill that. That's looking a little on the low side. And speaking of, I should probably eat. <coughs> um. throw this in our constructor no nope, it's 
ammo. Wow, that's going to be good for throwing into the factory, actually. Okay. That's awesome. We'll throw that in there. And we can put this in the cargo box. Mm, keep the fuel out. And put these away. Okay. Well, guys. Um, <coughs> I'm going to continue to loot this thing. And then, oh, so we have magnesium, nice. I like the new icons. They, that's nice. It's a good, it's a good upgrade. Good visual upgrade. Good job. Okay. Take these. Worth electronics. Okay. Oops. And if we want to get the fuel, we're going to have to walk inside. Hmm. Well. steel plate. I'm not necessarily interested in taking that over and multi-tooling the whole thing. Uh, I'll probably come back with a multi-tool vehicle like a, like an HV. So Okay, well that's cool. That's cool. Let's... Let's keep going to the marker and then we'll head over and get the... Cope, get these th three things. Okay guys, well, um, I think I'm gonna leave it here. And... Actually here, let's... Let's do this. Let's let's go loot the let's 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 jump out and go check it out. So I turned the ambient noises up a little bit because now all the biomes have special music and and ambient sounds. So oh, is that that's weird. Okay. Okay, and so I wanted to actually have it so that you guys can hear it. Hopefully you can. Sounds like crickets or something in the background. And ooh, don't go that way. Turn the jetpack on. So. What's it got in it? Oh, it's got something. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go over here and check the oxygen. And okay, it's got something. Huh? Better than a kick in the pants. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it off here. And, I mean, I guess I could take this over as a base even, but I don't want to. I don't want to have a powered base. Remember, that was, I don't want to ground myself to a planet. We're supposed to be nomadic this, this series. Alpha 8 is all about exploring. And being stuck on a planet is not exploring, it's exploring. Okay, so let's see. Next episode, I'll have all my Neo and Sath dug up. I'll probably warp back and start constructing the stuff for the CV, like like actual warp tank and some more, and the cockpit and 
and the goodies that we're going to need to get that thing in the air and get it warping around the, the universe for us. Um, also, I'll probably, I probably will multi-tool down a, a good portion of this thing and the uh, Titans back home. Um, and then we'll be able to start exploring. We'll be able to go and look at some of the bigger, um, the longer warps. Oh, so we could have done that from Raiden. We could warp from Raiden and go to there, but Kind of surprised that nothing got revealed by going to uh, Drupid. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Well, guys, next time is gonna be probably CV building. I'm gonna have lots of parts for it. Uh, we might also either CV building or rebuild my HV because that thing sucks. I'm not impressed with it. I totally don't like how I built it. It doesn't handle mining very well. It just, meh. I'll probably redo it from the, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a rear entry one. It seems to make it a little too big, big and long. So I do have, let's see, my hover box evolved. That might work pretty good. I can put some. Uh, it's a hover box mark two. I could do that one. I'll probably do that one. Hover box mark two. So that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change the. We're gonna change it, because mine sucks right now. No, why? Okay, so that one's five sixty four three four five three. Huh, sapphium. Why does it need sapphium? Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to spawn one in. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, next episode is either going to be a well. It's probably gonna. I'm probably gonna have an HV. The, uh, one of the one of my other my evolved hover boxes I'll probably have spawned in, and the other one that I built that sucks I'll probably just multi-tool that down to spawn in the other one. Um, hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of parts ready to go for the CV because that's that's next. That's what we're doing next. Really, is the CV. We're going to get that in the air and warp ready, build the extra rooms on it. We won't be able to skin it up, but we'll have the interior um, fuselage built. So, it, so the the design will be it'll have an interior fuselage, it'll have parts and stuff around it, and then it'll have an exterior armored fuselage, um, which will basically make it look like a ship. The the exterior one, the interior one is just going to look like a series of boxes, like Lego. So. But it's not going to stay like that. Okay. We are going to pick this up again next episode. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.